Today, we're gonna take a look at Sundial Growers, otherwise known as SNDL. And in short, they're a licensed producer that crafts cannabis using state-of-the-art indoor facilities. And some of their portfolio includes Top Leaf, Sundial Cannabis, Palmetto, and Grasslands. Now let's hop over to the charts and see how Sundial is doing. What's going on, everyone? So today, we're gonna take a look at SNDL stock, otherwise known as Sundial Growers. So. I made a video a while back when a lot of people were talking about Sundial and I still have some of my uh, drawings back here and pretty much since that video it spiked up a little bit and then pretty much has been downtrending ever since and there's like a little buying pressure here but it wasn't that much and at least today we're currently at dollar and 14 cents and I mean just looking at the RSI back when it went up to the crazy spike close to the $5 pretty much mark. RSI clearly is showing that it was overbought. Now we're heading down lower towards pretty much the sub 30. And that's indicating that it's potentially oversold. But again, there's another factor to consider is that the market this past two days at least, and pretty much for the past week I would say, has just been taking a beating. Almost every stock besides you know a couple are pretty much in the red so it's pretty natural to see most stocks continuing the downtrend and uh until the market does decide to recover there's probably not much going to be going on for sundial i'll share with you some more research and updates that i found that might be interesting in case you are considering it or if you want to understand more of the risks but just remember this video is just for entertainment purposes only this is not financial advice make sure to do your own research before making any investments let's just take a look the easiest one is straight off a reddit post now i think is reddit is good and then that's also bad right so usually people who have investments they like to read reddit posts and just read only the good pros i'd say of a company and try to make a decision thinking that it's going to it's going to be a good investment, but they never really consider the negatives. So here you can see, and if you follow with Sundial, you probably already know some of the basics. And we can see here, he just talks about like the history. They have here, this apparently on, um, they're going to announce their full year and fourth quarter financials on March 17th. So if you're watching this in the future, that's probably already out. Here, they have some long-term benefits. He talks about like getting into edibles. Also, he mentions how the uh, SNDL is not being delisted now. But that's, I think that's kind of old news. We've already seen that. Even though this post was posted um, within the last day of me reading this. And then he talks more stuff about Sundial. But there's some cons here. So right off the bat, let me take a look at the Google Trends. So he uses Google Trends as a like a justification that Sundial is going to increase in terms of demand. But you can, you can see here, it it had its demand back. And this you can see here it says February 24th, right? So if you were just to go back and let's just look at on the trading chart, 24th, on, at, at, at the max Google Trends rate at, at the 24th was just at barely $1.66. If maybe if he goes back, you can see here, this was back what, 11, February 10th and 11th. The, the interest was dramatically higher, pretty much way, way higher than it is on the 24th. So I think in terms of this chart, it's not really relevant. I mean, it's and plus it's the part that he circled, it's it's fairly low, right? Usually when you see things on Google Trends, because I did a lot of marketing SEO, it's it's not really relevant unless you see it like up at the max 100, right? So that's something to keep in mind. But I mean, at least that's some sort of demand, I guess you could say there. It's not just like a flat line, right? And then here, just like some other charts here. I always like to look at the complete opposites, why people don't like a company or what are the negatives of a company because then that helps you make a better decision and you don't think like an emotional viewpoint. So here he states that the share dilution, the number of shares now reflect an ownership stake that is less than 1 14th when it was 14 months ago and then also trades at 34x revenue. Now, most companies, if you're gonna evaluate it at 30x or 34x revenue, that's not very common, right? Usually. I mean, if you watch Shark Tank, you've watched those videos, they they usually have it a smaller multiple, maybe 2, 3x, 10x maybe, at best, 20x, depending on what industry you're in. But a 34 plus x, that's, that's like insanely high, right? Because if you're making, let's say, 1k a month, then you're essentially going to say that someone can buy your company out for 34k or 34x of what you make. It just doesn't make sense, right? Especially if it's in the multi-millions. 
So that's something to um, consider. And I'll say right now, at least there's not much going on. Maybe there is something I'm missing, but definitely let me know any news updates that are going on with SNDL. For now, at least it seems like there's not much happening. And we can just take out the market cap, right? So it's it's basically almost two bill. And we can see the history, right? So let's we'll just do like one month. Spikes up. And then you can do the multiple. So it's around like $1. So if it was at three plus, I mean, you just time the market cap pretty much at that. So looking above five, six bill. And if you check Finviz, the, the revenue, it's not even 100 mil yet, right? So we have like highs. 75 mil 68 and then the thing is the income right here net income it's negative so they're not profitable based off of this charts obviously they were releasing their financials by march 17th according to that reddit post then we we'll can see what they did um up to there but usually most companies i mean they start off negative and as soon as they start making profit which could be years from now then you can make the valuations i mean i think too because i'm looking more of i say the negatives but there's also pros right it's in one of those like up and coming industries, right? The cannabis niche. There's a lot of opportunity. There's still a lot of regulations and going cross border. But I mean, in terms of the starts, they're definitely one of the companies out there right now. And again, depending on where you're from, that could um, change your viewpoint. But here's something interesting, right? So this website, Investor Place, has a full article showing why they believe the price is at 48 cents. Would make sense to get into it not currently right now where it's at like one dollar sixteen and if you want to read through this feel free but i mean fun again fun facts can canadian cannabis company raised a lot of money and they stayed here so on the fourth they declared they closed a capital raise round and immediately declared it as now it had 610 million canadian on cash it also said it made 61 million in canadian in securities and investments so essentially the total would be 671 mil in cad so right now, if you were to uh, cash this as a percent of the market cap, right? So they're stating here that basically they raised 89.1 mil. And then they state that the cash and securities in the Canadian dollars has risen by another 112.56 mil to essentially 783.56 mil. And if you want to go through here and I'll read all those numbers, but pretty much you can see here, they said it now had approximately 1.56 billion shares outstanding. So... Back in just the September 30th, they only had 206 mil. So that's like a almost a 7 plus X in terms of the amount of shares. And basically, the more shares you have, the lower the price is most likely going to be, right? Like if you look at Bitcoin, it's capped, I believe, at 21 million. So it's not going to go over that. So as more of the, uh, the supply decreases, the demand is going to increase, the price is going to go up. Here, if you have billions of shares... The only thing that makes sense is for the price to go down if you keep making more and more. So here they state they issued another 98.3 million shares on February 19th. And then that brings the total to 1.66 billion shares outstanding. And then you can see that the stock trades at 129. And at that point, the market cap is at 2 bill, which works out to essentially 2.54 bill Canadian. And then now they say the company has 73 million cash, right? which is essentially 30% of its total market cap. So by the way, this is the same whether you use it in US dollars or Canadian. And then pretty much you can see here, if they're using the 783 mil cash, right? That would equate to 47 cents per share Canadian. And then if you convert that to US, which a majority of you watching this is from the US, that's 37 cents per share. And essentially, if you divide that by the stock price, that's about 29.1%, right? So pretty much they go here. And what they state is... They say this 37% uh, or the 37 cents share. And then they'll say like add a, a small premium, right? For the underlying money losing cannabis business. And let's just say 11 cents, which they have here. And that valued at roughly three times sales. So at that evaluation, it would essentially equate to 48 cents per share or just 37% of today's price. And again, the price is different now. So this is article I'm pretty sure was published a few days before. So yeah, March 3rd or yesterday technically so the calculations are a little different but that's just their view again this could be 100 percent wrong or they could be you know somewhat right so again just looking back at the charts i mean right now there's really not much going on unless there is something happening that i don't see feel free to let me know in the comments below but right now the market is red there's not much news going on they increase the amount of shares they have 
and uh, we're currently just waiting out for the market to recover. So in terms of news, there's really not much I can say besides to just consider some of those articles I shared with you and to think whether or not it's worth it to can stay in SNDL. If you think of it long term, it doesn't really matter then what happens tomorrow or the next few days. But if you're trading this like short term, definitely consider some of the risk and see if there's anything in the next few weeks that would cause the price to increase or else it might just continue to downtrend. But again, that's just all my own opinion. It could potentially spike up tomorrow, go crazy, like do a GameStop, S AMC type thing. But again, it's super unpredictable, the stock market, you never know what's gonna happen. So we'll just have to wait and see. But aside from that, if you made it this far in the video and you wanna get two free stocks valued up to $1,850, then go ahead and click the first link in the description below and sign up for an account. And as long as you deposit a minimum of $100 or more, you'll be able to receive two free stocks valued up to potentially $1,850. And aside from that, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to see more updates on the markets. Like this video, comment down below your thoughts, and I'll see you in the next one.